New climate research has stated that urgent action on emissions from existing ships is the key to tackling shipping's impact on climate change. Measures to cut shipping's pollution tend to focus on new ships, but this new Tyndall Center research shows that CO2 emissions from existing ships will dominate the sector's impact on the climate, and could even swallow up shipping's entire safe carbon budget. Policies to cut shipping CO2 must focus attention on decarbonizing and retrofitting existing ships, rather than just rely on new, more efficient ships to achieve the necessary carbon reductions. As ships are so long-lived, the committed emissions from journeys traveled during the rest of their lifespan are higher than for other modes of transport. Without action, existing ships are expected to emit well over 100% of a Paris-compatible carbon budget. There is room for optimism, however. The research highlights the multiple ways that ships can cut their committed emissions, such as traveling at slower speeds, fitting new renewable technologies such as Flettner rotors, connecting to grid electricity while in port, and retrofitting other energy-saving measures. Advertisement But scientists now say time is of the essence. If implemented quickly and at scale, the shipping sector could still fairly contribute to the Paris Climate Agreement goals, but if not, other sectors will need to cut their emissions deeper and faster to compensate. We must push for quick action for these ships, whether through speed reductions or other innovative solutions such as wind propulsion. To date, committed emission studies have focused predominantly on the power sector, or on global analyses in which shipping is a small element, with assumptions. This study analyzed, new CO2, ship age and scrappage datasets covering the 11,000 ships included in the European Union's New Emissions Monitoring Scheme, EUMRV, to deliver original insights on the speed at which new and existing shipping infrastructure must be decarbonized. Climate change lecturer at the University of Manchester, Dr. John Broderick said, unlike in aviation, there are many different ways to decarbonize the shipping sector, but there must be much greater attention paid to retrofitting the existing fleet, before it's too late to deliver on the net zero T. This research shows there is hope, shipping's overall emissions could be dramatically reduced, if policymakers act to cut the emissions from the existing fleet. Quote. Thanks for watching. Do you like my video? Then show me your love by pressing like button. Please subscribe my channel and hit bell icon for new technology updates. Bye bye.